with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lennox Lewis! His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome the Cobra Peters! Okay, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Oh, and there you go. Peters is thumped by a left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Locks the headshot. left hand 90 seconds to go here in this round what do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that hey they're more sure of themselves that these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves about confidence and really it's the opposite in some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Well-targeted double jab by Lewis. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And a good counter by Lewis. Comes right back with a shot of his own. And that is some good job just striking his target twice in a row by Lewis. <laughs> Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. That was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. She gets rid of that body shot. Well, we're watching Lennox Lewis here tonight, but Teddy, you know, a lot of American fight fans, sometimes they turn the other way with Lennox Lewis. They never really got behind him because they don't like the way he acts as a heavyweight champion. Well, Americans want you to wear your heart out on your sleeve to a certain point. They like emotion. They love emotion. And Lewis doesn't show that kind of passion. 
He's very contained, very cerebral, but he knows how to get results where it counts, in the ring. Good defensive skill with the block by Lewis. Now that's some fine work right there by Peters. Well, maybe one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. Sharp three punches landing by Peters. Halfway through round number two. Lennox Lewis has got an eye that has a cut above it. Peters is proving to be elusive. Offense from defense by Peters. Good block there by Peters. is snapped by a right hand. Ten seconds to go in this round. Teddy and Lennox Lewis, this is a fighter who we have a great sense of what his abilities are based on his amateur career because we saw plenty of him. Yeah, and his abilities really start with that size. He knows how to use that size. Gets rid of that body shot. Block that time. It was intended to the head. <laughs> Lennox Lewis's swelling will have to be dealt with immediately. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. And a smart counter punch by Lewis. Lennox Lewis's ability to stay on the outside and to score and control this fight is very impressive. I know as a trainer, you got to love this. Yeah, exactly. I think that he watched Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry. You know, Clint Eastwood used to say, a man must know his limitations. And, of course, you have to know your adversary's weaknesses. Well, right now, that homework, that understanding is showing up. There on the punch by Peters. Very clean offense from defense by Lewis. Lewis is quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in before he can get started. Teddy, it seems throughout the career of Lennox Lewis that the American fight fans never totally got behind him because to them, he didn't act the way a heavyweight champion usually acts. No, well, he didn't put his heart out on his sleeve. He was a little too cerebral, maybe a little too emotionless. You know, Americans, we love emotion. But if you love results, you have to like Lewis. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Peters. That was not well targeted by Lewis.
Good block there by the Cobra. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. There it is! That's a gut buster counter shot. Well placed counter punch by Peters. Peters' favorite punch is the jab, and tonight, he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all night. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? You just look at Lennox Lewis, and you see a primed, chiseled athlete capable of big things. Yes, you do, and that's part of it, but a small part of it. Then you got to take that prime chiseled athlete and make him do those things. And mentally and technically, Lewis has found a way. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by Peters. Nice two punch combo by Peters. Peters, his nose is bloodied up. Who knows how that started right there, but the bottom line is he's got to deal with it. A little defense turns to offense by Lewis. Good work now, backing up what he did. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good defensive skill with the block by Lewis. Fourth round now with its last ten seconds. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Lewis is fighting real smart here on the outside. Well, if ever you want to explain to somebody the benefits of distance while fighting, this is a perfect example by what we're seeing out of him on the outside. Well, you know, so many times I see tall guys, and what the heck's the sense of being tall if you don't know how to fight tall? He knows how. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Lewis. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. So this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. We 
just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Getting him into the place he wants to. That's against the ropes. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. Scoring well with that combination by Peters. Obviously, so many career highlights in the career of Lennox Lewis as we watch him in action here tonight. But one of the things he's most proud of is that he was able to face and beat all the heavyweights of his generation, including getting Mike Tyson at the end of Mike Tyson being Mike Tyson. You know, you use the word proud, and I think that that's so important here. We look at the right hand of Lennox. We look at the size of Lennox, but the pride, that legacy you talked about, he brings that into the ring. That makes him strong. Good job landing three punches by Peters. Blocks that belt line well. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. to land the headshot. Lewis's opponent is having a field day here. I mean, just so accurate upstairs, but there's one reason he's so accurate. He's not moving his head. No, he's not at all, and if he's not going to move his head, at least do something else. Catch and pitch. What I mean by that, Joe, is block and then pitch right back. Keep your opponent honest. He's not doing that either. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Peters. Another left hand from him. Excellent one-two by Lewis. Doubling up the jab by Peter. Well-placed counter punch by Peter. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Well placed counter punch by Peters. Multiple punches coming in now. Lennox Lewis blocks that punch. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Lennox Lewis's cut man 
is going to need to be all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes. Well, it's the same thing here. you got to get to the side before the swelling's there. you got to put that end swell, that cold piece of metal, onto that place early on. Smart counterpunch by Peters. <laughs> Lewis is doing a good job of just creating some space there, just pushing off. Nice block by Peters. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Lewis. Lennox blocks a punch. He scored well after being hit himself. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Peters. Peters is proving to be elusive. Lewis is throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take advantage. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Right back with the left hand. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Well, this is exactly where Lennox Lewis wants to be, just doing a really nice job on the outside. You know, I wonder if he's taking his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there in the kind of waters he's never been before, deep waters, and he's swimming harder than he's ever had to swim before. Sharp counterpunch by Peters. <laughs> he returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Good block.
staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Lennox Lewis has got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Lennox Lewis's eye is nearly swollen shut here, Teddy. This thing gets much worse. He's not going to be able to defend himself properly. No, it is up to his opponent in his opponent's corner to throw the punches that can take advantage of that. The right hands. We could see a stoppage here. Cut after taking a shot of his own. The ninth round of this good fight. <laughs> Devastating blow by Peters. Wow, great action right from the start. Hey, I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. How about that? Back to back he lands by Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis is being very efficient right here. I mean, he's just picking his shots. His accuracy is through the roof. Well, that's one of the talents, and you hope is a talent, of a top fighter is his ability to pick his shots, to be calm enough to see the openings. He's seeing everything right now. That's a good block by the Cobra. Mark counterpunch by Lewis. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Good block by Lewis. Nice block by Peters. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Blocks a punch. We come to the end of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessator. Boy, it's a very closely contested fight, isn't it? Yeah, it has been, Joe, but it's going to be up now to the judges. Hopefully they have their eyes wide open because they're going to have to look really closely, not just at the action overall, but who's landed the cleaner, more effective punches? Perry 
Here's that punch intended for the head. Solid counter punch by Peters. Able to dismiss it. Now that's a fine work right there by Peters. Good block there by Peters. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Lewis. Smart counter punch by Peters. Two minutes, a minute to go in this round. A nice block by Lewis. Double jab by Lewis. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keep working the mark. End of the round here. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. It's turning out to be a very good fight because it's very competitive. It's one of those fights that's really hard to score. Yeah, it is hard to score. It's going to be up to the judges now. Hopefully, they've been watching the way they need to watch, and they're competent enough to make sure that, that it's not just a matter of who's throwing, but, you know, who's really landing. <laughs> that belt line well well placed counter punch by Peters gets rid of that it was intended for his head up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot what a fight what a great great non-stop action fight this has been good clean shot returning fire well done by Lewis man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Okay. 
Able to get away from that headshot with the block. comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Teddy. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier. A little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Locks it away. Just getting the heck away. He's staying away right now. But what he's going to have to do now is deal with his opponent when he starts coming close. He's going to have to find a way for offense. Keep him honest a little. Good way to protect the midsection. by Peters. Very close fight. Tough to score some of those rounds, but they did. And, and for that, for let's send it up the to the ring. All three judges score the box. A draw. goes down in the books as a draw. Some may be disappointed, but that's the end result. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Good night from ringside.